I'm a pretty introverted person and I think that's actually helped me back a lot of times in life because I love being so cozy at home that it's kind of stopped me from trying out new things and experiencing cool and fun experiences and so while I'm living in SoCal I thought I would try to make the most of this and make new friends and also build communities outside of the established ones that I'm a part of so I went to a photography club meetup in mid city in LA and it was my first time attending and meeting the club members I was proud of myself for staying for the full duration of the event from 9 to 11 30 a.m and I met so many wonderful and talented individuals who have a genuine passion for film photography and photography in general and I felt like I wanted to come back in the future because it was such an open and safe space and I also got a chance to meet one of my favorite illustrators her name is Izzy or Clown Life Izzy and it's the reason why I actually found out about this because Izzy posted about the club meeting on her Instagram so shout out to Izzy she's such a sweet and kind person and I'll talk about this more in the end of the video today was a very social day because after the photography club event I actually went to LA Chinatown to meet up my friends and check out Paper Plant Co which is a stationery shop that I've been meaning to visit for the longest time And you have an unboxing on I do. IG. I do, I do. Oh, and then I stamp the... The paper blanco? Yeah, in here. Oh, actually, let me show you my other tea. I want to see it. <laughs> I don't have too much with me, Wait, but that's okay. Okay. Whoa, oh, you're yeah. olive. <gasps> oh, you stamped inside. Yeah, I stamped it inside. Oh, this is kind of like an this LA, um, like your LA TM. Yes. Oh, oh. hey, you're really good at... Stamping it
Yeah. We all have the fryer. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's not about need. <gasps> Is this a 70? Yeah, 70. 70? Oh, get one. Of course I'm gonna get one. get the new one. <laughs> Should we all get a new horn? <laughs> I mean, it's 70% off. It's 70 off though. Too soon. You forgot when I flash me to. You forgot to feel I knew. I mean honest, I love you When I tell you that I do Like every single day, go, I don't understand why you do Everything Wait, is this not high tech? Oh, no. oh shit! There's like a total I have no idea! This is so cool! This is so LA! It's so LA! I, every time, I'm there's a DJ Did you see the Aura Photo Studio? Yeah! That was so LA! He tells you like he don't love you like I love you, my baby, my baby. I dress even better. I think I look better, baby. I really can't be comprehending what the fuck he brings to the table. I guess he wear that fucking bottle shirt and khakis. I'm wearing my Ricky's the worst. Girl, my heart breaks in pieces. I wanna stress, like, stress my baby. Want you to know I linked with someone online. I'm scared to feel like after learning a sound But you have a slightly better haircut Still can't really tell I'm simply not there <laughs> So let's do it again The lines are about to change We'll forget when the flesh makes it We'll forget to be
Hey friends, thank you for joining me on this fun day out. I hope you enjoyed going along and exploring LA with me as well as doing something that was scary, which was going to an event, a photography event for the first time. It was the LA Photography Club meetup. And although it's super low stakes, I was super nervous to go just because it's a new group of people. And like I said at the intro of this video, I have gotten even more introverted as I've gotten older. I feel like I was super outgoing as a kid and even in high school was pretty outgoing. And the moment that I entered university, something kind of just clicked and I became a lot more introverted. So going to these events is so scary. And I always tell myself, I just have to bring out old Job, the old high school Job that was a little bit more charismatic and talkative. And it was fun. I met a whole bunch of new people. And although it was so scary and daunting, I feel like once I stopped overthinking it, it all kind of fell into place. Although I'm not a professional photographer, I love taking photos. And I just tried to focus on that fact instead of getting bogged down and feeling a little bit imposter syndrome-y because I, I wasn't, you know, a photographer like everyone else. Not everyone actually was a photographer there, but... Uh, the common love for photography was in the air and I feel like that fueled a lot of the day and the conversation. So it was nice and honestly so inspiring. I met so many Leica shooters and I aspire to own a Leica camera in the future and to shoot an M6 on film. I haven't been shooting film photography in, in SoCal because of money <laughs> it's so expensive to shoot film and i've kind of stepped away from shooting film ever since i got back from korea just because it's been pricey and i'm trying to be a little bit more conscious with my spending uh while living here because it's expensive to live in socal uh so i've been you know wanting to explore film photography again in the future and i probably will but all of that is to say that it was super fun to interact with like-minded people and it was nice to branch out to a different community other than the stationary community because it's always nice to gain inspiration and learn from different people in different creative fields. After the photography club meetup, I met up with my good friends, my stationary friends in LA. We met up at Paper Plant Co., which is based in Chinatown in LA, which is pretty much close to downtown LA. And it was my first time going. I've heard so many good things of Paper Plant Co. And it's a tiny, tiny shop, but it is so, so lovely. If there's one thing that you don't know about the stationery scene in SoCal is that there is really no big stationery store hub. There's a lot of new stores, like there's M. Lovewell. I don't know if that they're pretty new. They've been around for a while. But there's Bomb Kuhin. But Bomb Kuhin is closed for pretty much the whole week except for Sundays. And so I feel like there's really no big stationary hub to kind of sit down and journal and whatnot. So it's kind of cool checking out different places. But I have yet to find a stationary store that kind of like defines the SoCal LA area. So if you know or have any suggestions for me, to check out let me know uh, i definitely want to go check out m lovewell again but paper plant co was really cool it is so tidy and they actually share that tiny space which you saw in the video with a coffee shop as well so it is pretty much like a tiny square uh space where it you just grab what you need and go and there's tables outside so if you have coffee you can kind of chill outside but it's not a hang around for like hours in there kind of store, but it was really cool to see nonetheless. And they have a great selection of items. They even have a exclusive Paper Plant Co. Stalogy notebook, which is something that I kind of want to pick up in the future. Um, and then after that, we went to um, Steep, which is a tea centric, right? I guess it's a tea bar, but it's also a restaurant that serves really good uh, Asian food. Uh, I enjoyed the Hainanese chicken and then the spicy noodles as well. We also got the house peach tea, which was really uh, refreshing because it was pretty hot that day, actually. And then we went to High Tide. I've already brought you to High Tide when I was with my family, and it's such a cool space to check out. Overall, I had so much fun, and I loved incorporating ephemera from the day. My favorite ephemera that I use is actually some doodles that I have from Izzy, who is Clown Life Izzy on Instagram. She is an amazing illustrator and multimedia artist. Uh, I actually wanted to go say hi to her. And when I asked for a picture, she said, okay, and yes. And then she actually went to her car and gifted me 
a little flyer and a little a few set of pins and even her new zine um, that she gave out to her workshop participants. So that's super kind of busy and it was so cool to meet her. Um, this spread is super simple. I just focused on found ephemera and I really enjoyed all the photographs that I took uh, today. I was using my Fujifilm X-T4 and I was using a Portra simulation and it's so lovely and warm and dreamy and I enjoyed the very straightforward journal spread with a lot of writing and a lot of just found elements. I did paint a few things like the matcha latte and the Hainanese chicken, but I didn't feel like this was a paint heavy spread and I really enjoyed how everything turned out. I just love the pops of blue and the yellow and the red. It kind of echoes the design uh, space that High Tide occupies. There's a lot of like primary colors in the High Tide store and a lot of it is very mid-century themed stationery and design. So I tried to pull from that color palette and as you all know if you've been following me on social media I've been really loving the primary colors this year. It's kind of like the colors that I'm focusing on this year and I've even decided to furnish my home in that color palette. So I'm really loving primary colors. They are the primary colors for a reason and it's kind of cool that it's uh, bleeding into my journaling style. But I think that pretty much sums up all of our journaling today. I hope you enjoyed coming along with me to this kind of busy socializing day. At the heart of it, this day was a way to meet new friends and expand my community while also building and strengthening the new friendships that I've made in LA slash SoCal area and I'm so excited to see how these relationships will blossom in the future. Thank you for staying tuned and as always if you want to support me directly go check me out on Patreon where there are exclusive videos and printables there as always. Okay I love you so much friends please take care and be safe and enjoy the warm weather if you're in the northern hemisphere. Okay I love you so much bye bye.